The 61-year-old presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Mr Peter Obi, has won 61 victories even before Nigerians cast their first votes in the 2023 presidential election. Some of the victories are for Nigeria, some are for the Igbo people, and some are for the state that Peter Obi once governed, Anambra. Here are the top seven victories, in no particular order. 1. From the beginning, Peter Obi was running his campaign, scared of people associating the movement with anything Igbo. He repeatedly warned people that they should not vote for him because he was Igbo. Already, Obi won a victory in this regard. He has proven that the snail may try but cannot cast off its shell. 2. With the success of Peter Obi's campaign, the political career of Rokas Okorocha and his likes are over. Anambra State achieved that kind of change after Dr. Chris Ngige replaced Chinwoke Mbadanuju as the state's governor. And Ngige begot Peter Obi, and Peter Obi begot Willy Obiano, and Obiano begot Charles Soludo. In the process, Anambra State sent the likes of Andy Uber, Chris Uber, Afeni Uber, Annie Okonkwo, and others into the dustbin of history. It transformed Anambra State away from a territory where moneybags rule. 3. For every step taken by any Igbo group, be it the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Igbo Cultural Group, Ohanize, or Okaja Native Doctors Association, Peter Obi's campaign is immediately associated with the step and is expected to explain to the nation why he should be allowed to be president in light of the group's move. Lucky Peter Obi, other candidates from other parts of Nigeria get denied this victory. 4. The political elite in the five eastern states is not lining up behind Peter Obi. Three of the governors of the zone are with the PDP, while one just recently defected to the ruling APC. The only APGA governor, Charles Soludo of Obi's home state, Anambra State, has not come out to endorse Obi. Yet, people outside the zone continue to see Obi as an Igbo juggernaut with all the associated privileges. 5. This is the first time that a product of Christ the King College, CKC, Anitsha, is this close to being the president of Nigeria. What a triumph over the graduates of Dennis Memorial Grammar School, DNGS, and Government College Amua here. If Obi wins, CKC could become the Southeast's answer to Barewa College. 6. Peter Obi has proven that all generalizations about the Igbo people of Nigeria are wrong, including this one. Peter Obi's greatest disruption is the perception of Igbo people in some quarters as aggressive, rude, and loud. Peter Obi is nothing like that. It used to be argued in the Nigerian political space that the Igbo people had no quality candidate to present as a presidential candidate. 7. Because of Peter Obi, the era of politicians carrying their bags is just beginning. Hopefully, it will lead to them bearing their failures. Festus Okoti Ebo will be covering his face in shame wherever he is now. Thank you for watching. Like, comment and subscribe for more videos like this. See you in the next video.